guys and um, I have got another book haul uh, it never ends does it you might know um, already but I spent the weekend with uh, Nicola from Robotnik, Katie from OKK, Lisa from Skeletons on My Shelves and Lorna from Suddenly Lorna, um, three of whom came up to Scotland uh, for a wee visit and we did some shopping around Glasgow and Edinburgh, obviously mainly book shopping and I uh, went to the book festival so I have some books which I thought you might like to see. Well I'll get started then shall I? Um, let's just start in order of when I bought them. Uh, well first one that I didn't actually buy but Nicola lent me um, is John Green's Looking for Alaska and I've already finished this and I really enjoyed it and I'll probably be talking about it in a video very soon but this was only my second John Green book and I'm glad I got to read something else by him. Then I picked one up in the bookshop tents at the book festival um, and it was Orcs and Creek by Margaret Atwood. Um, I hear a lot of good things about this, you know I'm a massive Margaret Atwood fan. Uh, I don't, I, I think I haven't picked this one up yet because it's the beginning of a series and I find series daunting, uh, especially having a lot of series on the go at once. But finally I caved um, and I'm really excited to read this one. It's, I, I believe, a sort of dystopian series. Then in Golden Hair Bookshop in the grass market of Edinburgh, I picked up this book, which is All Dogs Are Blue. Now this is from the same publishing house as Down the Rabbit Hole, uh, which I reviewed recently. It's not by the same author, but um, that was the reason I picked it up because it's from the same publishers, um, which is And Other Stories. It's set in an insane asylum, I believe. Insane asylum in Rio de Janeiro. Um, so this should be intriguing. Nicola, Katie and I all got the chance to see Patrick Ness speak and after that I didn't buy this book but I got my copy of The Crane Wife signed, which was nice. Um, but after hearing him speak, I had to read something else by him, in particular one that he m mentioned in his talk, A Monster Calls, um, which just, after hearing him talk about it and hearing him talking about, about his writing process, I really, really wanted to read, in particular, the illustrated edition, which is this one, um, it's just scattered with nice illustrations, it's a really, really beautiful book, actually. And um, I was really impressed by how beautiful his prose were in The Crane Wife, so I'm really excited to read something else by him. Then in Blackwell's, which is a sort of chain bookstore, I got The Bloody Chamber <laughs> um, by uh, Angela Carter, which is some of her short stories. I was actually recommended this here on booktube in the comments, and I like what I've read of Angela Carter so far, so I'm excited to read this. And it was in the 3 for 2. And Nicola was getting some stuff in the 3 for 2, so I was like, I think I'll just cave and get this. We were very enabling of one another, although I feel like I was maybe the worst at it. I was just like, yeah, buy more books. I feel really guilty, actually. <laughs> then, last day, um, in Glasgow, uh, in Forbidden Planet, uh, which is a sort of comic book and merchandise store, I got two graphic novels, uh, just because I have no self-control. Um, I got Fables, Volume 3. Three, uh, which is quite a bit chunkier than volume one and two, so that's pretty good. Well, it was three per more expensive, but looking forward to reading that. And I also got The Unwritten, which is another book that was recommended to me by a subscriber because this overlaps with Fables at some point in the future. It's by the same, publish uh, the same publishing house, Vertigo, which is um, part of DC. And yeah, I thought, why not? It sounds like my kind of thing. I've actually already read this volume, uh, volume one, and it's about a boy called Tommy Taylor whose father wrote a best-selling uh, novel series about a wizard boy, kind of like Harry Potter, um, but the main character was also called Tommy Taylor, so there's there's a lot of fans believe that he is the character from the book, um, so that causes a lot of problems in his life, and we start to see a sort of merge of the fantasy literature world and the real world and it's quite exciting actually. I'm really excited to get volume two. My purse is not happy at the moment. And one last book I did get in a charity shop for five pounds. I'm pretty proud of this bargain and it is a dictionary of classical mythology by Pierre Grimal. Um bit of a beast uh, but incredibly handy for my course um, because I do not know everything there is to know about classical mythology but hopefully now I will. That 
is all the books that I bought over the weekend. Um, I had a fantastic time. Um, it was so much fun getting to hang out with booktubers again. Um, I hope this becomes a regular thing. So that is my book haul. I don't have any Wi-Fi though, which is quite distressing, so I'm going to have to go to Starbucks, do a little edit and upload to be one of those people. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Uh, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!